Grubbles. Who ready to get a grub on? You know that I am. It's your boy, Mr. Grub, back again with another video for you guys. Today, um, I am eating at Five Guys, okay? So, the reason why I wanted to try Five Guys is because uh, they, they're they supposedly supposed to have the best burger, right? Um, I've heard great reviews about them, uh, you know, and I, and I just wanted to put them to the test. So, I'm here now. Um, I've already placed my order, so I'm just waiting for my food. Um, and I like the fact they do cook in front of you and everything, so... That's good. That kind of lets you know and guarantees that it's freshly made. You're getting everything that you asked for. So definitely kudos to that. They also have free peanuts. If you're into that kind of thing, you can eat the peanuts while you wait. Um, so I'm cool with that too. Um, but already, I think for me, here's the problem, okay? So I've ordered food for me. I've ordered for my family as well, right? So the total came up to like 52 bucks. Now, the one thing I can say about Five Guys, they're very expensive when it comes down to the basic burger, right? So the basic uh, bacon cheeseburger will run you almost $9. Right? The burgers aren't that huge. So I'm guessing that you're paying for the taste, right? And the quality. So, like I said, I bought the meals for my family. It came up to about 53 bucks. Now, here's the problem. The $53 isn't the problem, okay? The problem is, okay, at that price, I'm like, all right, we're here. Here's a $100 bill. We don't take hundreds. Really, nigga? So, my question to him was, of course, it was a sarcastic one, but it was an, it was an, it was an honest question. So, my question was, so what if my meal came up to $100? So I couldn't pay for my food? And he said, well, in that case, I, 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 I think we'll be able to do it, but uh, other than that, we can't accept it. So for me, I don't have a problem with policy, okay? Let me say that first. So if, if, if the policy is no $100 bills, I'm cool with that. But if you're willing to break that policy based on the price of the meal, and based on how much I spend, then how am I gonna hold you accountable or anybody else accountable when it comes down to giving me rules and regulations that you're not even gonna follow? So I'm a little pissed off because I kind of feel like the reason why was more so because you know, they aren't supposed to accept them, you know, $100 bills. They may have had problems in the past where people weren't uh, honest about, you know, the money they gave, whatever, right? But even if the meal is $100, $200, whatever, stick to, your, stick, to your, stick to your rules, okay? Because when you run it past someone like myself, I start to doubt your reasoning. I start to feel like you would break those rules depending on the person. And I don't want to be that guy. So that kind of threw me off a little bit but again and i always tell you guys i never uh i never punish the company for the employee because i've been there you know what i mean so i don't punish the company for the employee and i don't fault the the, the company as a whole for one location so i'm not going to do that this time i never do it but what i will say is uh i expect consistency okay wherever i go i expect consistency so no means no so be it all right um, but I'm still going to put them to the test because that's why I'm here. It's your boy. You know that. Um, but I just want you guys to understand, uh, you know, how sometimes, if not, not sometimes, all the time, how customer service matters, okay? Like, it matters what you say. It matters how you approach a situation. It matters. Everything matters, okay? So, for those of you who do work at fast food restaurants or any restaurant or any place of, that requires customer service, understand that people aren't upset because the policy has to be enforced. They're upset because the inconsistency that follows behind it, okay? Um, never lead with exceptions, but lead by exception. If that makes sense to you guys. If not, I'm sorry. But um, I didn't mean to go off on a rant, but I did want you guys to understand, you know, even based on the videos I do, you see what I go through, so you understand that I go through multiple, multiple places, and I run into the customer service bit quite a, quite a bunch. Um, especially with the commercial restaurants, man. Again, Five Guys is more on a commercial standpoint. And it seems like when it gets to the commercial side, the, the customer service isn't always as it should be. Um, so I'm just letting you guys know, for future reference, any of you guys in the situation, you know, point it out. You know, they like to hear feedback, point it out. You know what I mean? Don't be afraid to speak on it. So uh, just letting you guys know how I feel, what's been going on so far since I've gotten here. Uh, you know, Hopefully it's better once I get the food, guys. So um, once the food comes, you know, we'll go over that. I'll let you guys know how it is, all right? <laughs> oh, man, it's crazy. I'll see you guys in a bit. I 
got my food, right? Um, and like I said, I order for my family, so there's gonna be a lot of food that has to go, but I'm definitely gonna try my, I got the bacon cheeseburger um, and fries, you know, kept it simple or whatever. Um, so I'm gonna dig into that and, um, you know, I'm gonna let you guys see it first, obviously. And uh, then we're gonna jump into the grub, man, and, you know, see what the talk is all about, guys. So let's check it out and see what it looks like. So as you guys can see, um, you know, regular burger um, and fries. I do like the fact that they number. So like I said, I have, um, I bought them for my family. So I have uh, maybe like five or six burgers, right? So they're numbered like one through six, which is cool. I think that's cool because a lot of times when you go places, you gotta figure out, oh, especially if you guys get the same sandwich. I hate it because you can never figure out which one is one when you go to certain places. So with them, at least they number it to let you know, okay, hey, this is the first order that you put in the second or third, so forth and so on. Um, and then they add the ticket to the bag so you can look at it to compare to make sure you're getting the right one. So kudos to five guys for that. I do like that to be a little bit more organized. So I like that. I also like that the fries, um, you know, that they put them in a cup. I always like to put it in a cup. You know, I always thought about that when I went to the movies that when you're getting popcorn, I like the bucket. And I'm willing to pay for the bucket versus the bag just because I, I like how it sits in the bucket. And I'm the same way with the fries. I like the fact they're in a cup. I think it's easier to manage, especially on the grease side. When you're in a bag, sometimes the grease gets through your hands. Uh, but with the with the cup, it's actually uh, you know more convenient. So shout out to them for that as well. So we're gonna go ahead and try this out and I'm gonna let you guys know how it is. First, we're gonna try the fries, which look different to me. I don't know if, if maybe they're seasoned or not, but I'm gonna try them out anyway. So, what I can say I like about it, fries taste like legitimate potatoes. So it's letting you know that that is natural, and you know that is original. Plus, when you walk in, I don't know if you guys saw it when I showed you, they actually have the potatoes bag in the front, so you can see like what they use. You know what I mean? I like that. It's almost like um, reassuring your customer that the the food is made fresh. So I'm always good with that. They're really good too. So I'm good with that. And then the wait time isn't long either. So I like that. I and mean, the staff is friendly, they sing and, and dance and carry on when they're making your food, they call your name out. I mean, it's a nice environment, nice establishment. So, shout out to five guys on the fries, man. Y'all doing it with that. So if you guys like the natural tasting fries, the ones that taste more like potato, which I do, come to five guys. So, Next, we're gonna try this burger, man. Uh, like I said, you know, you guys know I always test burgers because I always uh, know a good burger when I have one. So hopefully this one is one. So we're gonna see right now, guys, all right? actually one of the best ones I've had so okay I'm well, shout out to them man um, like I said you always you can find a good burger for less price I won't knock that you can definitely find a cheaper burger somewhere else that tastes that tastes good and all the burger places I've been to this is actually the best burger I've had so shout out to five guys for that now I understand the reviews <laughs> Definitely the best burger I've had. So, if you guys are ever looking for a, uh, a really good burger from a fast food place, 
And you're willing to pay a little more, man. Come to Five Guys. I'm telling you, it's worth it. But, you know, the, le the lettuce is fresh. I like that, man, when the vegetables are fresh, too. So, shout out to them. Mm. And it's fresh, so it's really hot, too. I like that, man. And it's not that greasy, guys. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's what happens when you use the natural stuff. It doesn't be that greasy. So, shout out to them, man. Based on the food and, and the presentation, uh, I would definitely, I, I would give them a nine. And the only reason why I don't give them a 10 is because the initial face-to-face -face interaction and the inconsistency with the way we're able, we're able to purchase, it kind of didn't sit with me right. And you all, everybody knows that first interaction, man, it, it sets the tone for everything else. Um, but I, I am grateful that the food was really delicious. Um, you know, very tasty. Uh, but definitely, like I said, my my whole thing will be to remain consistent. And, I mean, it's, it's unimaginable how far you guys can go, man. So, shout out to five guys, man. I'm going to go ahead and finish my food up. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. Until next time. It's your boy, Mr. Grub. I'm out.